Hey guys, going on Nivens here. Time for your weekly rock wind up. The final installment for the age of 35. Actually, by the time that you're watching this, I'll already be 36 as it's being recorded as of today, Wednesday, which is the day before my birthday, which was yesterday for you watching this at home today on Friday. Let's jump right into it with some new music announcements. Tool saying that looks like now 2014 for a new album from them. It seems that everybody, minus Maynard, have been working on their parts, their compositions, and everything else. They're just waiting on getting the vocals in there. Uh, hopefully they'll get it done and recorded by the end of the year, which will be in, like, around Christmas time, but it won't be able to be out there on the market until 2014. I uh, did find out, however, the band of mine that I'm a huge fan of called Bullets and Octane also going to be putting out a new album at the end of this month on the 30th, the same day that we'll see new stuff from Five Finger Death Punch, as well as Kansas City favorite uh, Tech Nine. Well, Slipknot mastermind percussionist Sean Clown Cran going to be making his feature film directing debut later on this year with Officer Down, based upon the graphic novel. Uh, basically, it's a storyline about how an officer is so committed to his line of work that even when he dies, he doesn't. Well, Stone Temple Pilots are making the announcement this week that they're going to drop an EP later on this year, looking like fall time, of course, with Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park on vocals. They've also announced a fall tour. As of right now, no stops planned for Kansas City. Closest will be a couple of stops down in Oklahoma. This might just be like a first leg sort of run sort of deal. So if a second one gets announced, believe me, we'll let you know. And to close out your weekly rock wind up, Beastie Boys ad rock Adam Horowitz is going to be uh, playing in the new Ben Stiller movie while we were young. It was also announced this week that Mike D and ad rock both are working on their memoirs to be released in 2015. If you recall, of course, MCA Adam Yauch passed away last year at the age of 47 from cancer. I'm Niven Thank you very much for tuning in to your weekly rock wind up. Have a great weekend. Make sure you check out Moose and the Thunder Run. But worth Holly Davidson on Saturday. Peace. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>